I hope when people say, how do you know Amy and Naya Everett? I hope people say, well, she's just like the most awesome person ever and I really love her and she's a great coach. That's what I hope people say. <laughs>
Don't you hate it when you pour yourself a bowl of ice cream and then you walk to bed, take your pants off, get in bed, and realize you forgot your ice cream in the kitchen? And Christian responded, and he was like, I'll get it for you. And I was like, what a creep. I don't even know him. Why would he say that? Oh my gosh. And then I stalked him on Twitter, and I was like, oh, he's kind of cute, but that doesn't excuse him being inappropriate. Pretty much, we've been talking ever since. <laughs> Grew up doing martial arts, so you know, in a few different disciplines, starting with Taekwondo when I was really little, and then Muay Thai, boxing, that as I grew up. And then uh, after high school, that turned into me doing MMA for three years. When I first started doing like full on CrossFit, um, I was still trying to fight at the same time and still trying to, to maintain, like, you know, going to Muay Thai. Um, going to fighting, you know, doing jujitsu, doing all the practices, and then trying to do CrossFit workouts, and um, it only lasted probably like a, a week or two at the most, just because you know I think it was it was I had done Helen for the first time ever, and then I you know came in from Helen and then tried to jump right into um, our our team practice for fighting, and we were uh, we were on the ground rolling. I was just dead. I was like laying down and I like wasn't doing anything and was like just, you know, getting my ass kicked on the ground. And so I was like, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out, trying to do both. So with Jessica, I met her when she was just a baby years and years and years ago. And she left the Olympic Training Center and came to California to lift under Greg. Because at that time, I was still competing competitively and I wasn't interested in coaching anybody. So that's why I didn't offer to coach her. Greg was coaching the entire team and I was lifting. Like that was my number one thing. I wasn't coaching at that time. And so she moved out and Greg was coaching her, but she was still going through a rough transition in her life at that time and she couldn't really, you know, she wasn't as focused on lifting as she should have been. She wanted to be, but there were things that she had to work through. And so she ended up moving back to Florida to her mom's and was kind of just doing her own thing and kind of using old Zygmunt programs and stuff. But she was texting me every day and still asking me things. And at that time she had met Christian. And one day I think Christian's like, why don't you just have Amy coach you? And it's something we had never thought of because I was lifting at the time and I was a selfish lifter and I didn't want to coach anybody. I was like, well, I'm already like her life coach, so I may as well just start coaching her. So I was like, yeah, why don't you let me coach you? And I think that was about four and a half years ago. And so I took over her coaching and, you know, I knew what she needed and I, I knew the mental training that she needed and I, needed, I knew like what needed to be done to bring out the best lifter in her. Like I knew all along, even when she was a terrible lifter and going zero for six at nationals, I knew the potential in her and someone just had to bring it out. You know, that, that ended up being the, the perfect pairing and, and they were able to really work together in a way that um, no one else had really been able to previously with Jess and Jess has had a couple of the best coaches in the country and, and Amy's the first one who was really able to uh, get out of her all the potential that Amy and I saw in her when we you know invited her to join the team and so that's been really gratifying obviously for Jess I'm sure but uh, you know for Amy and I um, who, who really feel like Jess is part of our family and, and uh, you know, wanting to make sure that she is absolutely as successful as she is, you know, physically capable of being. I'm so thankful that that happened. And so now it's been about four and a half years and now we're going into this next quad, just ready to stack bodies.